guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a TJ Maxx Home Good Marshalls haul for you today. Nothing crazy. Hi, Looney. And I have this Luna. She is over visiting. And Luna belongs to my niece, Sarah. Okay, what are we doing? Hmm? Where's your toy? She said, um, stop making these videos and talk to me. Well, this will be a quick one. I don't have a lot of stuff, but it is the beginning of my Christmas haul that I've been buying. And I wanted to share with you before I put all this stuff away. So first and foremost, we'll get the big guy out of the way. I needed a new tree skirt. So I went with a very Santa Claus feeling one. It's like, it feels just like a Santa suit. The boys are going to go nutso for this, but I did verify that I can throw it in the wash on cold, gentle, and then air it dry or toss it with no heat in the dryer. And this was $19.99 and it is Berkshire Home. And it is a 56 inch tree skirt. And if you're going to go to a Christmas party, you can wear it as a regular skirt. If you have a small enough waist. Give me uh, Mrs. Claus or from the Grinch. Okay, so that was the big thing. The rest is not as exciting, but I have been on the hunt for shoes. I didn't necessarily want patent leather, but these are the only loafers I have been able to locate and they fit me really well. These are a size eight from Jones of New York. I will tell you, I've been buying a size nine. These run pretty big. Um, and pretty wide if you see them at your TJ Maxx. And they are obviously patent leather, but I needed a pack pair of black loafers just to wear. I didn't have any black shoes. I got rid of a lot of shoes and I didn't have any black. I have brown, but I didn't have any black, just slip-ons. Um, and they were pretty cheap. They were $29.99 regularly, 43. I don't know where regularly is because I feel like this stuff is made for Target or TJ Maxx, but I think I got these at Marshall's. Yes, and $29.99. And these will come in handy this winter when I go into the office. With, if you saw my Target haul, these will look fanta fantastic with my gray sweater. Um, not for Christmas, but I've been wanting to try these curlers with my shorter hair. I have naturally wavy curly hair, but I wanted to try like so you put them in your hair and then you twist it. You twist it like that and then you let it dry. And when you take it out, you get bigger curls. So we're gonna try these. Um, this pack was $4.99 and you got 12 curlers, which I think is plenty for my length and how much hair I don't have in the back. So we're gonna try it and see how they work. I know they. I used these before as a child, but it's super soft, can use while sleeping, no heat, lightweight, great for travel, durable, reusable, all for all hair types. Straight, curly, long, medium, or short. And I got the ones that I think will be more ideal for shorter hair. So I grabbed that. Um, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with chapsticks of any kind or lip balms. And this is the Burt's Bees. They only bring this specific one out at Christmas. And it's very pepperminty and it's very candy cane. And I love it. So I grabbed one for the holiday season because I'm almost out of the other one. Then I grabbed this and I'm curious. So I get very dry, very cracked hands in the winter time. And I've done the bag balm before and it seems to work okay. This was not cheap. It was $6.99, but I feel like bag balm is not super cheap either. But in this package, you get four of these little squeezy tubes, which is definitely more convenient for me. Is this? It looks like it comes in a lip balm, but it's definitely, it's I mean, I guess you could use it on your lips. But it does come out like, okay, like a Vaseline. Which is what bag balm is. I mean, it's... But it definitely has its own scent to it. And it supposedly helps with, like, cracked skin. So I thought, well, this would be perfect for my purse. 
the bag, the tins of bag balm are gross and you have to stick your fingers down in. And this one is a squeeze too. Um, I will probably share one or two because I'm not sure that I need four of them, but let's hope this gets me through the winter. I also, for this winter, have a humidifier attached to my heater. So that should help my house. All right, we just have a couple more little things. I love these stores. This is from TJ Maxx. If you have not, what is that? I don't, I don't know what that is. If you have not used one of these in your kitchen, I highly recommend. Um, you just use it with on soap and it, it's like thick bristle and it does a wonderful job, especially like cat food. Sometimes I let it sit on my cap in my sink and it dries or pots and pans. It's just a scrubber. They're $2.99. They're really cheap. I don't use it with bar soap, which you can. I use it with, um, just liquid dish, liquid dish soap, but it does a fantastic job of getting crevices and things, especially in like cooking pans and baking pans. This does a great job. And I replace them about once or twice. Um, well, about once every two months, month and a half, I buy a new one. They, the wood gets wet and gross, but the plastic. And if you store it this way, it'll help it, but you still have to replace them, just like your sponges. But I love these, and they're very reasonable price, and they do a great job keeping the dishes dishes clean. All right, just a few more things. I bought one of these. I love these. This is Fresh 360. It is um, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, freezer safe. It is bamboo food container. So this is for me. I use them sometimes even take my lunch to work when I bring salads. But it is bamboo, so it's better for the environment. Um, and look at it. It has little penguins on it. Um, I have a Halloween one, too. Or I use it to store food in the refrigerator. All kinds of stuff. But I love these. And this was... I think these were $6.99, maybe $7.99. I can't remember. Oh, $5.99 for these. But I'm trying to get away from plastic and BPA. And this is bamboo so I either like glass or this but glass is hard to trans I mean I have taken glass to work but it makes me nervous with dropping my lunch bag and stuff so I prefer these this is the 40 ounce so it holds a fair amount especially since it's just me it's perfectly fine and then for gifts I got some of this hot cocoa I'm doing a raffle basket next week and this was $4.99, and it's just hot chocolate. And the ingredients are sugar, cocoa, non-fat milk, solids, cream. And place two tablespoons of hot cocoa mixed into a mug, eight ounces of water. I'm sorry, of milk. And stir. And it makes, it's a hot chocolate mix. I'm doing a coffee hot chocolate basket. I will build it and show you um, because it will be a good gift basket as well. But... I grabbed that. I wanted to get something non-season specific because this is not like a Christmas basket, but it could be. They have the same. They also had in salted caramel, but they had the same plain hot chocolate in um, different containers, like more seasonal stuff at TJ Maxx. And this one was also TJ Maxx $5.99, and they're just hot cocoa bombs. This I did want very seasonal. I'm sending it in a package and it's for Christmas Eve. And so you get, and it's just one person. The other person won't drink it. Um, but you remove the chocolate melt from the packaging carefully and slowly pour two, 250 milliliters of hot milk over the melt and watch as it melts and the marshmallows appear. Stir thoroughly, thoroughly and enjoy. So it's, we've all seen these bombs. So that's the chocolate outer and then the marshmallows pop up. So I grab this. It's going to go in a package. I was going to get hot cocoa like this, but I think this is uh, more fun for display purposes and, you know, for the festivality of it. And I don't think that the person will want more than three. Like this comes with 10 servings, which is lovely, but I grab that instead. So let me know if you like this new lighting situation. I didn't put a lot of effort behind me because I want to make sure the lighting works. And once I know the lighting works, then we're going to move some furniture around and set it up a little better down here. Because I think the lighting is good, but I won't know until I do the editing. Although you can see the ring light and my glasses. Unfortunately, that can't be helped. 
because I wear glasses and I have to have a light down here. I'm in my basement, which is obviously fully finished. And that's my bookshelf behind me with stuff that needs a purging. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later.